Hello everybody and welcome back to Lost Souls. So in the last episode we did the wither about actually 16 times. And I'd first of all like to go and have a look at that loot. But in my left hand I have a chest. Um just let's go and open this chest first of all. What have we got in it? Oh actually that I've not had that one before. So we've got six chance scoops and six prosperity shards. Not too bad. Let's put those away. I've got a bit of a cold as you can probably hear and hopefully I don't sniff too much during the episode but I had noticed last time I was sniffing a bit I'm going to try desperately hard not to do that oh by the way if anybody knows how to use that chance thing uh, please tell me because I have still no idea I haven't looked at that one yet but I'll be honest so let's go and have a look at this in today's episode what I'd be like to be doing is um a bit more automation and stuff so 15 so i've got 16 of the nether stars because we use one to make the wither builder some inferior essence some 26 premium essence which is actually awesome so for which we don't really care about that much we build the river well I'll, we'll try that out in a minute actually some arcane skull to knock back some grave dust uh these withering souls which are actually quite important the valor seed and eight uh Friendier pearls, which actually that was weird. They got thrown out by one of the withers when he was being ground. So the first thing to do, other than run too fast, is to come up here and put away what we can. We should be able to put away the sulphur. And yes, the knockback ones don't go because it's the first time we got knockbacks. So we can put those in here. Look like that. It's fantastic. And I did actually get the right one. So today, what I was going to do, oh, I'll show you this actually. I've got an ender chest here full of an inferior essence. And here I've got a, actually that's a slave controller. And I'm extracting out of here just inferior essence. Because I wanted to automate that. So I've got a, a chest, an ender chest there, and that's connected up to another one which we haven't put down yet, in fact, as it happens. In fact, that might be in... No, it's not. It might be in there. So, but first thing, let's... I want to complete a few quests. Let's do this one here. The uses of these. So we can make... a wither helmet. Again. Some chests. Just play... Because they don't have any other uses. Some leggings. I don't know if we can enchant these either. I'll have to try that as well. And then these are the last one. We want some boots, don't we? Which will be on this page, of course. I could have done that easier, couldn't I? So, let's remove these things. And click these into place. Where did that just disappear off to? Uh-huh. Oh yes, I would probably best if I did it right clicked it now, wouldn't it? And we can do this one. And I don't know what the durability of these is. But a full strength set gives you... What's it say? We'll have a look in a second. Jetpack. That will be fully charged because of this thing. In fact, I haven't used it since last time. Let's get the chest plate down here. And the helmet. Let's do it the quick way. So now I've got absorption, strength, and resistance four, and fire resistance four. So, <laughs> and I look, well, <laughs> let's have a look at myself, shall we? <laughs> well, that's uh, a very um, sort of slightly f intimidating set of armor, isn't it? What do we get? Five stars. Oh yes, that'll do. <laughs> and we get these two ha Two extra health things. I think that must be resistance or something like that, wasn't it? And ten armor, that's good. But we can live with that for the time being, I reckon, don't you? So let's go and put this let's go and put the other armor away. I'll need the jetpack, of course, because that's something we're gonna need anyway. I think this one will do. Yes it will. I'll keep the jetpack with me. I don't know about slime boots actually, whether I'll get a full protection from that I don't know we'll see we'll keep that with us and these we don't need anymore I don't know other uses for those at all another star has lots of uses 
Oh, we should make use of some of those. Because one of them, there was a survival quest, wasn't it? So, right. Let's have a look. I'm having a quick look at what I've got here. Let's put that like that. Good. So, now. <clears throat> oh, yes, it tells me I've got all sorts of things on here. Nine seconds. You can see on the right-hand side, just below the mini, just to the right of the mini-map. So, they do have durability, these things. I wonder if they can be enchanted. We'll find out later on. Maybe next episode. So what I would like to do today is to complete some of these quests. Let's have a look. F4 quests. So we've got survival. We can do this one now, the portal home. So we can do an overworld portal. I think we can, because we needed another star for that last time. So let's have a look at that one, first of all. Oh, I didn't show you that. I meant to show you that, actually. I did some speed upgrades and some stack upgrades for the... Um, Transfer nodes. This one. So we need to make a beacon. And for that we need some ender casing. For that we need some of this. Let's get that into So we need four of these. Three actually, isn't it? Yes. I think. No, I think I've got that wrong. Let's have a look at that again. And a casing. Oh yes, that's fine. No, it's not. We need diamond blocks of diamonds as well. Okay, let's go and get the blocks of diamonds. So I do need four sets of this. So I need sixteen of these ender ones. So that will give me eight. So we need another um, thirty-two ender pearls. We'll take a stack of those and then just split that into two and put the other half. I shall keep the other half because we used all the others, haven't we? Let's put the other half into here like that. And then use these. I think we need eight, sixteen. So we need blocks of diamonds. So we need five blocks of diamonds. Is it five or four? I'm not sure. Or maybe I've got too many. Anyway, what you can always do with this stuff is always reverse it anyway. So let's have a look. So what was that again? Overworld portal, because I've forgotten already. Oh yes, it's a block of quart, black quartz. So we do need four. So we need three of these, so we need 12. Yes, okay, 12 blocks. So I miscalculated within the pearls. But I think with ender pearls we can simply go and put them back again. So no, too, no big deal really, is it? Uh, if you miscalculate that. So we need black quartz. Now fortunately I've got a seed for black quartz because that was one of the things which is... Uh, You'd have to sieve for. Sieving for stuff is a pain, basically, so we don't want to do any of that at all. Now, black quartz. How much have I got in here? Five. Okay. Uh, let's look at the recipe for this one. Not wrong one. Sorted, sorted my inventory of recipe for this one. So we need basically seven for three. Oh, okay. I think that's quite a few. We'll just take a stack and see how far we get. I'm not bothering to do the arithmetic in my head, especially at the moment. So I'll take a stack of these. That should be maybe it's enough. I have no idea. Seven. Oh, we only need a block, don't we? So it's not too bad. Anyway, we'll just do it like this. So if I remember right, it was basically this type of setup. That's going to give me three nines twenty-seven. Thirty-two. And then we need a block of quart black quartz three times, don't we? Oh, it's not that recipe. And it must be just this recipe, huh? It is. One, two, three. And that should be enough. So we can put that away now. We don't need the black quartz. So that's actually not too bad. We've got, we've got some black quartz in stock. And I can go and put this one away. I'll do that after the... Unless my inventory gets too full, of course. So now we should be able to make these. And I can indeed make three of those. Now what else do we need for the... Another star we've got and glass. So we just need five pieces of glass, I think. I'm not I think any glass will do. Let's just have a look. I haven't tried this before, I will be honest with you. Indeed we can do our first beacon. There we go. So we've got our beacon. 
so we should be able to make this up now. What do we need there? Ah, oh, red nether bricks. Okay. So we've got nether bricks and we've got some nether warts. So we need... Let me check. I've forgotten already. Three. So we need six of each. Now, if they're anywhere, they'll be in here, won't they? So I need six. And I can't see for trying. I've got six of these, yes. And another one. I've got plenty of it, but I'm not sure which chest it's in at the moment. It must be... Here we are. Six of those. Now we can do some self crafting for that, so we'll do that. We might as well do that, mightn't we? I don't know whether it, I can't remember which way around it is now. Probably the other way around. Nope, that'll do fine. So now we can actually finish this. So we've now made our overworld portal, and that should complete the quest. Portal home completed. Fantastic about that. In fact, I'll put this away for the time being because we. Because I'm going to be using this very soon, but first of all, we have to make things like crude oil, according to Bob the Big Bat. So, now there is something else we can do. There's going to be a lot of crafting in this episode, I do apologise, but I think there is anyway. I'd like to do the um, compressed... The compressed, auto-compressed hammer. So we've got here, steel ingots, two plates, no big deal, let's have a look. So we've got all of those. Let's go get those bits. Quest completed biomes. Oh, okay. <laughs> I made that out of sequence, didn't I? That's right. Oh, what did I want there? Um, you know, I've forgotten. My goodness, probably my cold, actually. Let's have a look. Um, oh, we've got this choice reward. We're going to make... Oh, no... There's actually no doubt about what I'm going to take here. Draconium, of course, because they're going to be difficult. Um, right, I don't know where they are. Let's have a look. It's the compressed hammers I need. Oh, here we go. No big deal, we got those. Um, well, they're jumping around, that is. So we just put these. Now we should be able to make this. We just need some iron plates. I think we need to do two of these. And that should be enough. We should be able to make the auto compressed hammer now. There we go, one auto compressed hammer. And therefore, we can make the auto compressed sieve. Oh, I thought it would have been on the same plate page as that one. Let's have a look at the sieve. This one. So that's just that. What's this? Block of steel. Okay, we should be able to do a block of steel. I made plenty of steel in the past, didn't I? So now the only thing we need with that one is um, an auto heavy sieve. Let's just do a heavy sieve. I think it's not exactly very difficult, is it? Auto compressed hammer has been completed. So we need forgotten. <laughs> I think it's two, four of those, and three of these. Maybe four. I'll just be on the safe side and take four of each. At least four of each. So we'll just make another sieve. Oh, it's five. Okay, we've got enough. Good. So we've got our sieve. So now we can make the auto heavy sieve like this. Oh, two pieces of steel. I've got them in the wrong chest, aren't I? They're here. Uh, I think we'll do that. We'll make it over here. <laughs> One auto compressed sieve. There we go. How about that? So that should complete another quest. Fantastic. So. With that, we needed a diamond sieve, and I think I've got diamond sieves in here. Yes, I have. The reason why do I need diamond sieves? Let's have a look. Bob the Big Bat says I need to make oil. So let's have a look at crude oil. It's actually crude oil we need to make. This one. So crude oil is made. That's the bottler. Crude oil. So basically, we need to... I thought there was a different recipe for this. Let's look at this one. So we need a magna crucible, that's right. And then we go from bitumen. Now bitumen is made by sieving compressed coal soul sand in a heavy sieve. And then we've got a chance, a 2% chance of that coming out. 
So that's what we're going to set up. <clears throat> compress soul sand. We basically need to bash soul sand and compress it, if I'm not mistaken. So let's go and have a look at that. Now, I've also got some... I made a seed, didn't I? Did I put that seed down or not? I better go and check. I don't know whether you know I made a seed, but I made a seed for this, and it was... I'm putting all my seeds in here for this time being, if I remember where they are. Dirt seeds, another quart seeds. Oh, maybe I haven't made a seed yet. Let's just let's have a look. Maybe I'm thinking about I need to make a seed. What's wrong with this? They're not growing. Why are they not growing? Oh, they are growing. Tier 5. Signal them. Saltpeter, that's nitra. Redstone seeds. Luminum seeds. And guardian seeds. So I haven't done it yet. I better go and do that. Because one of the things we're going to make is a lot of um, soul sand, and soul sand you can make quite easily. Oh, we need a compressor. I I've got a spare one, that's right. I made too many, didn't I? Which is good. <laughs> I've got some of my inventory is so full I can't do anything. Let's go put some of this stuff away. This one, for one thing. And we'll double click the others off there so we can get rid of those as well. Yeah, they've gone away, so we've probably got a bit of space now. So, crude oil. So we need bitumen. I think this is bitumen. Sieving. So I need to make a s another, I think it's called a nether seed or something like that. I'm not sure which, this is the stuff we need here. So I don't know whether I've made this or not, but we need sand sand and netherrack. So we need eight of each. I'm just having a quick look here, what's this one? Oh, no, I made it already. Phew, I thought I had it. That's just taking, they're quite slow at the moment. I probably need to go and put those into somewhere else. So let's have a look at these stuff here. What have we got lots of? Signal them, I guess. Okay. Now we can use this to make uh, soul sand. Let's have a look at uses of this. And I guess it's quite generous like this. 20 pieces of soul sand. Of course, um, so we have a hundred, so that'll be stacking a bit, stack of thirty-six. Now we need to compress that. Okay. So what I'm planning to do is like this. I don't know whether I have to compress it twice. Um Oh yeah, that's that the bit for doing the next part of the automation. Yes, I've got a compactor, great. Now, let's put this compactor down. I'm going to do it two blocks away from this one here. And I'm not sure what I have to do with this yet. So let's just see if we can... We've got cable coming in here, we have, fantastic. So I can take some cable underneath here like this. Um, big X. Oh, there's something else I haven't shown you, and that's this one. That's the, the book. Basically, it says there's a secret. I was trying, uh, this is telling you where the coordinates are. I went there and forever stranded one and didn't find it. Now, I don't know whether that was because I was on the, in the desert or whether you have to be on the moon, but I guess it's on the desert. Anyway, I didn't find anything. So what I can do now is put this book away. We'll do that and put this in this chest here. It makes another space inventory stuff. So then we just need a bit of power coming through here, don't we? Let's just oops wrong one. So now redstone coil. Not redstone, redstone coil, redstone. Flux duct. I don't know how much power we need and I don't know how much it's gonna take. We shall find out. The compactors themselves don't use much. But this is now full. What happens if you put this into here? What do we get? Oh, I can't. How am I supposed to compress this together then? Is 
Is there a way to compress this? That's basically what I need to do. What have we got here? Mixer. Little stone. No! I wonder if there are any other recipes for this one here. Compressed salt sand. That's useless. Uh, we can use a heavy sieve with the, with the diamond one. That's to give us our bitumen. So, okay. That might be a bit of a pain if I can't compress it that way. Or we could do an auto crafter, of course. That'll do the other thing we can do. Um, that's a bit of a shame. Let's break that. So, auto crafters don't need any power. But the sieves do. So I need to hammer this. I think I need to hammer it. I'm not 100% sure. Let's just try it. This is an auto compressed hammer. That's a sieve, isn't it? Let's just put the sieve down here. And let's put into that a mesh. And then we need to compress this. Uh, I've got my workbenches up here, so I'll just quickly go and get use this one. Let's in fact let's pick it up and take it with us because it's probably more use there than, that, than it is here. I don't need that on myself at the moment. Right, I'm actually coughing and spluttering in the meantime while I do this but so we'll see. So I think that'll give me compressed soul sand. Let's just try that and see if that works in here. I don't know whether it does. I think I've got to bash it. Oh, it is working. Oh, well, then it's not too difficult, is it? We shall see. OK, so we've got everything it says it. So that is working. So that's how I do that. Fantastic. Okay, so all we need to do really then is to get um, two things. I need to basically probably put an ender chest here to pull the pull the stuff off, and then I'm going to push from the ender chest into a craft auto crafter, probably the analog one, because the speed isn't important really. And then we're going to go and craft that. We're going to craft the essence into soul sand, and then from the soul sand we're going to craft that into compressed soul sand, and then we're going to feed that into here. So let's have a look. What do I have with me? I don't think I have any more. What I'm looking is for the fl the thin transfer nodes. We'll make a quick another set of those that don't take very long at all as it happens. And if I remember right, all we need is actually an anvil. Got some anvils in here. I think I have an anvil in here too, yes. And a transfer node, and that's a bit of lag. So, and a transfer node, which I haven't got there, they're in here. Funny how that displays upside down. So, we'll make eight of these. Very cheap, quite slow, but speed doesn't really matter that much as it happens. Well, I don't think it does. For me, it doesn't matter. I'm quite happy for things to run along in their own time. So now, let's have a look at this. So I need an auto crafter. I think it's called an auto crafter. Probably it's analog. It's actually analog, isn't it? This thing. Very cheap. We just need some. We need one, two of those, in fact. So we need two more um, tables. Have we got anything in here that we need? No. Okay, so we'll just basically make two of these chests. I'll put that back in here. We need two chests. And we need two levers. Have we got any gr a stone in there? I usually do, but I don't know where it is. Let's have a look. Probably faster to find it this way, isn't it? 
Nope, no cobblestone in there. We get some out of this chest here. I've still got the residue of this. It's strange. Well, it's not strange really. I've just not been using it up. It's not, it doesn't have so many uses in this particular pack. I don't think it does. Right, so now, analog crafters, we could do these two. Like that. And the next problem is I'm going to have to have a chest. Actually, I'll make another chest just for the sake of it. I've got two here, that's fine. Don't need to make another chest. We shall simulate the ender chest to start with. I think I'll use the ender chest. I'm not 100% sure at the moment. Now. I just need out of here the... Um, in. I want to put these somewhere, probably here. Gosh, my inventory is too full again. So let's put this. Now you have to control right click these onto here so that they're in the push mode. That's the red side. So we come along here and we put on there an analog craft, an automatic one. We're going to do the same again. Oh, was that wrong way around? You see, that's the wrong way around because I didn't press control. Now to get that off is actually a bit awkward. So what I'm going to do is take this Supreme Muscles, put that in there. Take the wrench from Extra Utilities 2. And then simply right click it. Uh, shift right click it? Yeah, shift right click it. Now what I should have done is control right click. And there, it's got the red side good. Now we can put this one down here like that. And then we'll take a chest. And we're going to do this exactly the same thing again. Right click this onto that, well, it's got the red face as you can see. And take another chest out of here. And put the chest down like that. We're going to put into this chest this. Now we need some more uh, nether essence. And you'll see that's gone into here. So what we need to do is we disable that one because we basically it's just a row of this. We make it sticky and we spread, spread the items. So they should then go around the sides here like that. But I've got to basically go and put them down the sides. So we need some more. So what I'm going to do is take the seed that I've got out of there, take, put the signal and seed out, and put into the the actual nether essence seed. So we'll get it being produced at a reasonably fast rate. So I'm not sure which one of these is nether essence. Let's have a look. Inferium seeds, water seeds, black quartz seeds, nether seeds. There. So. <laughs> break it. In fact, it might be that I've actually already got a few nether seeds in. Oh, I have good, fantastic. So I don't need to worry about it. I've got this one nether seed in here now. I should have really stopped that before I started to do that. But they have been running for a while. So we now need to come along here and, yes, just put it where the signal and seed is. And I think the signal and seed is first or second. Inferior, this one. like that and that's all we should need to do with that one it should grow up and we should get stuff fairly quickly now I'm watching it for a few seconds they're very fast there you go so we've now got some more essence <laughs> great those flowers <laughs> they look really good pointy and aggressive right so we've got six more of these so she's great it's enough to do what I want to do, at least to demonstrate one row. Well, actually, I haven't got any money in it. I need 54, don't I, to get uh, some compressed stuff out of this. Oh, there is a mob. He's oh, probably up there. If he's up there, he can't get to me anyway. So what, you, so what you do with this stuff is you spread it around here like this, wherever it's gone to, like that. Oops, I make it sticky, sticky. So it doesn't actually, they stay there. So it's always got one in there. So we can then put the, these two into here like that. And they should come out and they should end up in here like this. So the next thing we've got to do is wait very patiently, soul sand. Actually, well, that's only soul sand, it's not compressed soul sand. So we can do that as well. Spread items, make it sticky. And take this one. Oh, actually, yes, that's right. It's just a straightforward nine, isn't it? Like this. Okay, and then we can shift click these into here and they'll get spread around there and it will actually make compressed, as you can see, it's making some compressed, so another 
Right, which is coming into here. See, three, four. Bitumen seems to be going to be going to be a long time before we get any of that. I wonder if there's a seed for bitumen. It would be nice if there was a seed, wouldn't it? Let's have a look. Because then we don't have to do this forever. Throw the recipes. Nope, that's the only recipe that's going to work, I reckon. We don't have any ore. And I don't think it exists, because that's, that's always the overworld, and that's the end. And it's the same here as well. Okay. So we have to sieve it. Shame. And we've already sieved lots of this. Got graphite dust, gas tears, and lots of nether quartz. But alas, so far, no bitumen. Okay, well I'm going to have to get work on that between episodes, aren't I? So, we will do that. I'll remove this. The next thing I was going to do is the stuff in here. This is basically the same principle. <laughs> Identical. Uh, so that probably makes it a bit daft to do. But let's have a look. See if I can do it. Oh, I'm just saying we've got any space to put enough space on me. I think I should probably want that with me rather than put it in there, don't I? For, yeah, I've got enough slots there. This will do fine. So, what we're going to do is we're going to use the analog crafters. There's actually no power used in this whatsoever. So we're going to do exactly the same thing. So we're going to come from probably here. So I'm going to put the ender chest down here. And in that chest, I've got all the inferior essence. What I should do is put the first crafter here like this, and then the next crafter here, and the next crafter here, and the last one here. And you'll see why in a second. In fact, I don't even need to do that. Those could be together. But for the time being, oh, they'll do it like this. And then we need a lot of chests. How many chests have I got with me? One. Have I got any others in the other compartments here? No. Okay, I'm going to have to make some more chests. So let's go and make some more chests. And we're going to need one for each. I think we need about five chests. I think maybe six. And I bet I haven't got enough stuff in here to do that. Oh, I've got four in here. I've got enough, yes. Take this out of here. And then that'll make another four. So we've got nine chests. Good. We're also going to need some item ducks. So let's get those made up. We will use the standard opaque ones. Six will probably be enough, actually. We're also going to, have to make some servos. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the iron recipe like this. So we need glass. I'm going to have to make six of these. So let's get six pieces of glass out of this one. We're going to probably have to go and get some iron. Let's go and get some iron out of here. I always need iron. So we need two per, so we need 12 nuggets. That's basically two ingots worth of nuggets. Let's take those two out. There might be enough in the other the chest as it happens. We'll just double be safe. We'll be safe. So now, servo. So let's do this. We should be able to make six. Fantastic. Now what we can do is a cheat way. And I think actually, I think it was Bob the Big Bat that told me about this. I'm not sure who told me to be dead honest with you, but you could take some Enderium ingots like this, with this, and you can get Enderium ones for the price of one, because the standard recipe for this is two, and I'm using one with the iron ones, which is the cheapest way to do it, because we've got plenty of iron. Now, at the beginning of the game, I didn't have anywhere near enough iron, uh, and it took quite a long time before I had actually got to the point of having enough iron. So what we're going to do, so we're going to put one chest down. I think we'll do it at the back, actually, yes. It's, it's arbitrary, to be honest with you. We'll put one chest down here at the back of each one of these. Like that. And then we're going to put in here some of those item ducks. 
and I'm deliberately letting them all connect together okay and then we're going to come along here and we're going to put in this and we're going to say we want to do this round robin so it goes to both items at the same time and then we just wipe this just turn it on so then it's going to go into here and it's going to go in here at the same sort of rate in fact I've got to be careful there because I've got to do it like this yeah oh I need to make this sticky and I need to spread the items all we have to do here we have to turn off these corners like that because this is what we need to do and of course that's going to be a bit awkward I wonder if we can get these into this chest back again before <laughs> no too late already filled up we'll take those with us then so that one's filled up already so we're always going to have a chest worth of these things and I haven't got enough to do this great um, ba -ba 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 -ba. how am I going to deal with this let's just drop that on the ground for the time being and put this upstairs like that we can tap good so that's going to go across there and it's going to be slowly taking this out of here feeding it into both these two and coming into here so we do exactly the same here we're going to turn this on we're going to set it to round robin um, and simply turn it on and then some will go into here like that and some will go into this one so this is where I need the other this isn't going to be so fast let's put that into there for the time being so we put this like this I'm going to say these are the sticky ones so they don't go to there and then we just spread it around stick it and spread item sorry <laughs> Can't, uh, there we go they have got some more essence here which I didn't really need here so then we get this intermedium coming in like that so we're going to do exactly the same on the next one this time I'll be careful and I'll get it right first time in fact I'm going to have to upgrade that one so let's just move this into here like that probably be the easiest way won't it should have done that first so the next one turn it on let's come along here and take out of here we've got 10 okay that'll do so we've got the stone we can say sticky spread items we're going to make it so that they can't go into the corners like this and spread the items like this okay and then we're just going to turn this one on so it should then go in half there and half into here Let's turn this on like that so we can shift click this into there and they should come through and we should start to be making some superior essence and I'm going to do exactly the same with that one but for the time being we're going to leave it like this what's happened to this why is that not going into there oh this didn't take stick and spring out why not oh of course I've lost the items that's the problem oh how did that happen I'll take a stack of those that's right so they should come into there fairly quickly like this so what's happened here so that'll be full so it can't do round robin it'll just be putting the stuff into here like that that's a bit weird I don't guess me what's going on here because that shouldn't be trying to stick them into here if it got no space oh I'll tell you what let's do this random round robin nearest first so it'll do the second one afterwards so the nearest one is probably one of these two I'll ask me which is going to be nearest first and this one we're we'll getting 30 in there and it will be doing 30 in there so we'll also do nearest first on this one but they're both exactly the same distance so so what's going to happen is it's going to get filled up anyway so let's just do this one nearest first oh it's already nearest first oh i didn't change that okay fine so we should have we should be getting some inferior essence in there uh, intermediate essence in there and intermediate essence in here and i don't see it's gone into there yet strange uh-huh let's make this one random uh round robin so it's going to force it so that way well that's weird 
I don't expect to see one in there by now. Ah, oh, there we go. So then we'll be able to come to these chests and get out whatever we need. So we'll be able to get those, some prudentium, some intermedium, and then eventually we'll be able to get this. I haven't done that yet. We could do this one now, actually, because it's going to be a long time before that actually gets activated. Let's just turn this one on. We'll set it to round robin, first of all, and then we'll just turn it on like this. And then we're going to say sticky and spread items, and we're going to turn off the corners. <laughs> yeah, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Tell you what, put it like that, and then you shouldn't be able to make that stuff anymore. No, there's no recipe for that stuff. Gosh, that's a bit hard. Let's shift that into there. You can always do that, you see. Shift click it, and it goes into there like that. Then it'll come across here. So we've got two each of these. So they should spread around that bit there and not go into the middle. Because what's going to happen is that this stone is going to break fairly quickly because this is going to happen gets worked up used quite a lot and then the other two here because they're so high they they won't get they won't get used up very often but we could actually make a, a stone for this already because we've got plenty of uh superium essence supremium essence I get a bit confusing with these things isn't it Especially for me, I always get confused with stuff like this anyway. So, I've got it on me, haven't I? I put it away, I'll move this out of here. I put it away in this one, I've got 26. So we should be able to make the master stone again. This one. Fact that I used it the ones up in here, didn't even use the stuff that we've got in here. Good, yeah? so probably the best thing to do is to replace that f second one with this straight away and then use that, that one in the last one so we can then get some the premium essence coming out of this. I think it's probably the way I want to do this. So that one should have the master one already. So this one's going to get worn out fairly quickly. We can do this so that doesn't get worn out ever. And then we could put this one in the end of here like this. That was interesting. I think it just put a second one in there. Three, and we got six. Well, it's quite a round robin, I don't know. I just have to watch out because this is going to take a long time before this chest gets filled up, as you can see. But things are just ticking along nicely. They'll just keep ticking on like this and we'll get everything sort of done eventually and everything will be ready well that'd be good so let's have a look back to this thing here this is the way i'm going to do oh none brilliant after all that i got none at all so i'm going to have to find a way of getting rid of the stuff that's in this sieve anyway i will probably set up a what am i going to do with this one it's really the nether quartz we need to get out of this don't we so we could do that I could just simply filter that across. Now, with these, you can't filter it, I don't think. Let's have a look. I think there's no... I'm not sure to be done, actually. Oh, yes, we can filter it. Great. So we can set up a filter for that. So, I think that's it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, I don't think you probably learned anything too new on this one. But anyway, until next time... Hopefully, I'm, between episodes, I've got time to go and do some stuff while I'm coughing and sneezing. Um, I'd like to get this finished automation-wise, so we have a chance of getting the bitumen room quiet for the thing. But I didn't go and claim those quests. I think we will do. Let's do that. I've probably got a couple of minutes. I don't know how long I've gone so far, because I think I've had three intervals. And it was 21, so that's probably about 35 minutes, 37 minutes now, I suspect. So let's have a look at that, unless I've missed out a step. So, so we've done that one. What's this one? Obelisk. Obelisk. Another utilities. No idea. I didn't want to do that. I shall put these out of the way. Get the wrench wherever it's gone to. Yes, this one here. And just 
shift right, <laughs> click click that off there. That's at least gone to the right place now. So, um, but we've got the quests. Let's get those done anyway. Done. So we've completed two more quests here, these two. And then, actually, that's completed the whole of that quest line, I think. Oh, no, we've got iron compressed hammer. Oh. Tell you what. That isn't too difficult. 18 sticks. Let's get 18 sticks out of here. Um, yeah, that'll do. I th oh, hold on. Is it, is it three sticks per thingy? I think it's three sticks per thingy, isn't it? 27. And then we need 18 iron ingots. I've got enough good. So let's do that one. Um... Iron hammer. Got type. This one. Basically it's this. We get our nine. Good. Oh, it does not stack, huh? Oh, uh, brilliant. <laughs> I'm just going to move stuff out of here. So control space, click on here. Oh, I can't do it on that. Can I not do control space, click on this one? Nope. Not on that chest, let's go and put it over here then. Right. I should be able to click those off like that. So we got a nine hammers, then we should be able to just put this together to do that. Well, last one, completing that quest. And then, um, let's go and check that quest again. Let's claim that one. We don't need two of those, we'll just take the two loot chests. Oh, a nice one, we get all three anyway, good done so everything in here is now completed thankfully that took a long time didn't it um everything in there's done i think we're stuck on that till we get to the twilight forest haven't bothered with any of that stuff i will be honest with you i guess we got biomes done so what have we got here a choice reward well good question let's take the loot chest best i've got i think and nothing else is unduly exciting in that lot. Was there another reward? I need to do a spot loader. Maybe. An ender tether. A redstone remote. We've done lots of that. Okay. I won't do that today. We'll do that another day. I'm sure there's more quests I've completed though. Let's have a look. Other worlds, nothing there. Ah. So we do have some new. An end portal has now opened up. But we do. The overworld undiscovered. Well, so when I go to the overworld, we guess we get that one, do we? Right. This one. Okay, so did the aluminum ingot. Let's just claim that one. The dusts. Yes, we've done half those. So I haven't bothered with the others. Fire tigger. We haven't done yet. Oh, for some reason, we haven't got this one. Oh, I've completed that. Right. Redstone, super diameter, so, okay fine, we'll do that substage. Industrial, environmental, environmental will be good when we can do that one. We're stuck in builder, <laughs> that one doesn't have a reward. Let's try magical crops again. Can't get it, <laughs> click, click. I think it's about here, isn't it? There we go. So, tier three seeds and paxels. And the superium smelting. Okay. Supremium smelting. I'll keep getting that word wrong. So let's open up these chests and then call it a day. Because I don't really want them with me, do I? So let's... Oops. Wrong place. I thought I had more. Quite a few... Quite a few to open up. So look, we got... Well, that was a nice early game one. Let's have a look at what we got on here. Pumpkins, another nice early game one. Oh, actually quite a good one. Arrows of Doom and Arrows of Instant Damage. An Absorption Hopper. That seems to not have such a bad one either. Some transfer notes and uh, some transfer pipes. That's uh, oddly enough quite funny, but uh, good. This one, oh, look at all these enchanted books. Civ Fortune, Sharpness, Fortune 3, Unbreaking 3, Leech 3, Fire Aspect 2, and Luck of the Sea 2. 
Actually, not bad books, those. Let's probably about a first. No, no, I've got a bit more space. And the last one Living Wood and Living Rock from Britannia. Actually, that's not too bad because we haven't done a, a pure daisy yet, have we? So there we are in my rather uh, sparkly wither stuff. I shall see you next time. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Bye for now.